Al, I want your opinion on this. We got a quick update to a conversation we had earlier in the week. It's about Joe Rogan. Have you ever worked with Joe? I did a comic? once early in my yeah. career. I won a uh, what magazine? Men Health Magazine's contest, a comedy contest, to open up for him and Charlie Murphy. So I did. And they oh, were wow. both. They were both really cool. It was early in my career. It was the first theater I ever did. Wow, that's huge. All right. Well, Rogan, if you didn't know, told millions of his podcast listeners that if you're a young, healthy person, there's no need to get vaccinated. He got a lot of pushback, including on our show. Even Dr. Fauci responded saying all eligible Americans should get vaccinated. But now Joe is sort of walking back those comments, or is he? So here's what he said in his podcast yesterday. You be the judge. I'm not an anti-vax person. Right. In fact, I said I believe they're safe, and I encourage many people to take them. I just said I don't think that if you're a young, healthy person that you need it. Their argument was you need it for other people. So you don't transmit the virus. That makes more sense. So I'm that's, a young- But that's a different argument. I'm not a doctor, I'm a <laughs> moron. And I'm a cage fighting commentator <laughs> who's a dirty stand-up comedian. I'm not a respected source of information, even for me. All right, so what did you make of what Joe Rogan said? Is he walking back those comments or not? Albert? Uh, I'd agree with two of the, th the three things he said. Uh, I believe he is a comic and a commentator and a personality, but he, I, almost like us, we, I don't think that we realize that like when you look at these cameras and we're talking because we're just real life friends, we don't realize these cameras go places. I don't know if Joe Rogan understands the influence he has. He talks into people's ears and his thoughts go directly into people's brains for three hours a day, every day, especially for his loyal listeners. And in a way, what he says supplants what a doctor says. What he says supplants what people's parents say. That's how important he is in people's lives because he's given people structure, people that didn't have it. So I don't think he meant any harm, but that's the problem when you start talking about things that you're not an expert in. Like all of us, you can do harm without trying to. You're well, a big we, fan, right? Then we shouldn't do stories about politics, right? Because none of us are in politics. We should do nothing about the government because none of us are in government, right? People have to be discerning at home and where they get their information and what they take in. If you don't like Joe Rogan talking, by the way, he, he prefaces this in the beginning of every podcast. He does a three hour long podcast and, you, and people play 10 seconds of what he says if you don't like this then why do celebrities go up and endorse a certain president why do musicians do that why do athletes do that if you don't like what Joe Rogan says and you think he's wrong I think he's wrong too then we should denounce everybody who gets on that stage after they win an award and give their opinion about politics and say I don't care what you have to say because you are not that is and I hear you and you're actually making me change my mind Lindsay I want your opinion a good I, I, a very good argument but thank you does, well, does he know we can have <laughs> <laughs> but does he have more responsibility because of the platform he's in and where we are with the pandemic? I want to hear I Lynn. Think, yeah, go ahead, Lynn. I think Jeff and I... Jeff and I both love Joe Rogan, so it's hard to, to say that people need to be looking at him as a source of major information. I think, like, everybody has to do their job. Everyone has to do their job and find the source for the news that they're going to consume. And Joe Rogan is an opinion talk show host. So, like, you know, give him some room to be wrong. You're saying we have to adult, is what you're saying. We have to be discerning. Yeah. I, make your own decisions. Right. Because Oprah voted for this person doesn't mean, like, I love Oprah, I'm a huge fan. That's who I'm voting for. Do your work. Do what's good for your life. Don't let celebrities and musicians and athletes influence who you are as a person. Be your own. Love except that. For me. Well, except for Al Jackson.